Foreign Minister Professor G.L. Peter said addressed the diplomatic corps yesterday during the first diplomatic briefing for the year 2022. Its objective had been to share information on progress related to human rights and reconciliation ahead of the upcoming 49th session of the Human Rights Council which will get underway in the last week of February. The minister had noted that the Prevention of Terrorism Act is being amended with the objective of bringing it in line with international norms and best practices. He had informed that cabinet approval had been obtained to gazette the bill containing the proposed amendments and thereafter to table the bill in parliament for final approval. The foreign minister had explained to the envoys that substantive amendments to the PTA include amendments to the sections on detention orders, restriction orders, expressly recognizing judicial review of orders, expeditious disposal of cases of those charged to avoid long-term detention, repealing sections impinging on freedom of expression and introduction of provisions on access by magistrates and judicial medical officers, prevention of maltreatment and torture during the detention period, right to communicate with the family, grant of bail to long-term detainees and day-to-day hearing of cases. He had also referred to the establishment of an advisory board under section 13 of the PTA to advise the Minister of Defence on long-term detainees. Any person who has been issued a detention order or a restriction order under the PTA is provided an opportunity to request a review of the order. On the Presidential Task Force on Archaeological Heritage Management, the minister had informed that representatives of the Tamil and Muslim communities had been included. During the process resident coordinator of the United Nations Hana Singh Hamdi had appreciated the work done by the relevant national institutions in the areas of transitional justice achievement of the SDGs and amendments to the PTA Ambassador of Egypt Majid Mosle meanwhile had highlighted the importance of the international community working with Sri Lanka to promote human rights and reconciliation and had observed the impressive achievements made by Sri Lanka in combating terrorism and dealing with its aftermath